Hello and welcome back to another episode. Today we are going to be talking about the brain pads. This is a brain pad, or one of the brain pads. We have been working with teachers, companies, schools, students for a very long time trying to determine what might be the best circuit board that we can provide to entry-level students who are learning programming. Remember, we're talking about entry-level. So we decided, we started with something that is plug-and-play modules, main boards, uh, things that you can plug and play, and you'll be surprised what kids did to these circuits. They start ripping the cable off, breaking things off. It didn't work out for like entry-level. So we decided to bring everything on one circuit, and we had multiple revisions working with educators and uh, and students, and we came up with the brain pads. And the brain pad concept, it's basically a brain pad. We have a brain in the middle, that's how we explain it to the kids, where you have inputs, like our senses, we hear things, we see things, and the brain processes this information, and then there is an output. So we see these arrows pointing into the brain and these are pointing out. Now, explaining this briefly to any kid and handing this to them, they will start giving you all kind of ideas on what can be done, where press a button, a light comes on, or a buzzer comes on, or sh something shows on the display. So they quickly start thinking in, in a proper, proper programming manner. It's inputs, something getting processed, and there is an output. Now, we, uh, later on, we, we were not sure what would be the best technology when it comes to the software. Uh, we tried uh, NetMF, we tried Gadgeteer, we tried uh, Embed, and other technologies as well that I can't talk about today. So, for example, this is the, uh, the NetMF version. Uh, this over here is the Arduino version. Uh, we, we have sold some of these on the website, some of them we've uh, we didn't sell on the website directly, but we worked locally with, uh, uh, with, with teachers and companies on, on deciding what might be best for their needs. So we tried Arduino, we tried NetMF, and this is a, an embed version. We decided to, to shrink down the brain pad, make it smaller so it's something you can have in your pocket. Uh, we still have it expandable. You can see over here uh, we have some female headers, so you can add wires and wire circuit if you get to a, an advanced level. So you start at the very basics, but at some point you want to learn what an LED is. Instead of controlling the onboard LED, you want to wire an LED. You can do it this way. And this is uh, microbus compatible. Uh, so I have this, for example, this is just a simple USB to serial uh, converter, but there is a there are all kinds of sensors and even displays that you can buy and they just plug right onto the brain pad. Um, again, this is just a proof of concept and ideas. We're not sure if we want to do that or have a, a cable that connects to, to something else. And on this version, we also even tried to make a display optional. So instead of having a traffic light, we have a display that kids can control. Uh, and I actually have a small demo on here for you to see. Uh, this, um, when I push the, on this demo, when I push the buttons, I'm controlling this circle on the screen. It doesn't do much. It's just to show um, what what can you do with a brain pad. So when I when the circle reach the end, we make some noise, blink, uh, or turn the LED on or the light bulb. And then we're reading the temperature and we're reading the light levels. So over here, lights, uh, 91% because it's bright. If I cover it, it's down to 70. Cover it more, it's down to 10%. It's very dark. Now that you know more about what we're trying to do with the brain pad, we want your feedback. Whether you are a teacher, a student, no teacher, no student, we like to know what you think and how you think we can make this to be a super low cost high value educational system for our kids. Thank you very much. Talk to you next week.